Greetings and salutations, DMs, GMs, referees, judges, game operations directors, and all other varieties of storytellers. This is your DM, Scott, and it's time for another DM quick tip. Let's talk about gatekeeping. First, let's define what gatekeeping is. A very simple definition is that It is when someone claims to have the right to keep people out of a certain community or identity. Gatekeeping isn't always a conscious decision. Rather, it can be a reaction to something someone says. It can be using gaming jargon that others may not understand. And it may even be just our mannerisms when someone new comes around the table to check the game out. Whatever form gatekeeping takes... It is behaviors that exclude others from entering the hobby. Unfortunately, I see a lot of gatekeeping in various Facebook groups I'm a part of. I also used to see it often in gaming stores. Now this is a big problem, and I'm going to tell you why. Having lived through the 70s and the 80s and seen the rise of Dungeons & Dragons and other tabletop role-playing games, I was living in a time period where if you wanted to game, all you really needed to do was throw a stone and you could hit any number of gaming groups. It was that easy. It was extremely easy to find a group to game with. It wasn't hard at all. Now, the 90s come along and D&D and other tabletop role-playing games start to decline. Gaming stores start to disappear. And where it was once feast, it became famine. It was very difficult to find a group. It was almost as though we were in danger of going extinct. Now today, Dungeons & Dragons is seeing this incredible resurgence. Newer versions of the old rules are being made available through the OSR community. It's really a good time to be a tabletop role-playing gamer. Hasn't always been this way. Now back to gatekeeping. What gatekeeping does is destroys the hobby. When we make it difficult for people to enter the hobby because we are not welcoming, we are not patient enough to take the time to explain the rules or introduce them to the game at all, we run the risk of spiraling this hobby into extinction. Maybe it will never totally disappear, but it would be very difficult to find gaming groups and gamers once again. More and more often, I see women sitting at the gaming tables. More and more frequently, I've sat with women at the gaming tables and enjoyed playing a variety of tabletop RPGs. Sadly, I have seen gender gatekeeping at the tables. I've seen this take a variety of forms where the men in the group would not listen to the female player suggestions, where tactics were suggested and ignored, even though they were sound tactics. I've seen male players at the gaming table snicker when a female player quoted the rules, as if they don't know the rules simply because they're female. When I was growing up in the gaming world, girls just didn't play D&D or other tabletop RPGs. If you happen to find one that did, it was extremely rare. It was almost like seeing a unicorn. It wasn't as though we kept them from the tables. It just seemed that it wasn't a thing that girls were interested in doing back in the 80s. Now, it's a very different setting females seem to be interested in the game and i think that's a wonderful thing so bring them on ask the men out there let the ladies at the table make them feel welcome and enjoy the game with them it is awesome seeing women sitting at the gaming table rolling dice i didn't have that experience when i was playing the game in the 80s and the 90s you have a wonderful opportunity of playing at a more diverse table than i did when i was younger enjoy that In recent years, I've had the opportunity to play with many females at the gaming table. I've had the opportunity to speak with many females about gaming in general. These women play D&D like big old badasses. Don't keep them from the hobby either. Now there's a lot of us old grognards around. I'll ask you, instead of gatekeeping, make your mission to throw open the doors of our hobby and introduce young people to it. Welcome these young people in and mentor them. Be their Obi-Wan Kenobi. Introduce them to the hobby that you enjoy so much so that someday they could be the next generation of tabletop gamers so that someday they will be the old grognards and will hopefully do the same that you did for them, for others. Remember we were all new to the hobby at one point in time. 
someone was more experienced than us, had afforded us the opportunity to sit at their table. Someone more experienced than us threw open the doors to the hobby instead of locking them. Now, there are many ways in which you can kill this hobby, and gatekeeping is just one way. We'll see you next time in the dojo.